All right, so here's a video on the secret hidden features of that one. So I myself have been introduced to some really cool features that I wish I knew a long time ago when I started using this load board. Now, two features are actually jaw dropping and I wish I would have known this information before. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over four secret hidden features in that one that if all of you guys out there are using it, I'm sure that 75% of you do not know about these features and they're going to help you so much to increase profitability, to increase rate per mile. And for those of you that are not using it or are thinking of one day opening up a company or dispatching yourself, well, this is a great video for you guys out there just to see how easy it is to find your own loads. So here we are searching for a load, okay? Now we have a truck in Illinois and he's trying to get to Georgia, okay? Our equipment that we're choosing is van, full loads, and then the date that we're looking for is Monday the 20th for pickup date, okay? That's when our availability is. Now here on the left-hand side, you'll see all the different loads that you have and you'll have the age, how old the posting is and you'll have the rate. Now, the one thing that I didn't like about that one, which I love now, is the fact that you're able to sort right now, not just by the rate, but you're able to sort it by the highest rate per mile. So this is great because I'd like to see the highest rate per mile loads out there. I don't wanna see, you know, high paying loads that are very, very low rate per mile. I'd like to see the highest rate per mile out there. Now you can see that the load board tells me that there are 77 results, 77 loads for Monday pickup and the highest rate per mile would be the, the loads up here. So this is a great feature that you can sort. So there are many different variations, okay, of how you can sort the data, which is amazing. If you're interested in the highest rate per mile or if you're interested in the newest posting, so the new you can sort it by the newest post. Thing. You could post it by the longest trip. So let's say you wanted the longest trip. The longest trip is 1,039 miles. You can sort it by that. You can also sort it by the shortest trip. So however you want, they have many different ways that you can sort the data on how you want to see it. So if you're interested in highest rate per mile, you can see it with highest rate per mile. If you're interested in seeing the data with the longest trips, you can see the longest trips, okay? All right, so here's the moment you've been waiting for, okay? A feature that I never knew existed, all right? So let's say here you're putting available from Los Angeles, California to Atlanta, Georgia. Now you can see that these loads are paying 4,300, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, and you got to call in for these loads to get the rate. Now these lanes is what's currently getting paid from California going into Atlanta, Georgia. But there's a really cool feature over here called Tri Hall. Now what does this mean? This means that you could be doing the same run, okay, for $2,817 more. So when you click this beautiful green button, over here it gives you a series of different variations of load so instead of doing one pick one drop from los angeles california going into atlanta georgia you have the option of doing a stopover in rapid city south dakota now if you do a stopover in rapid city south dakota you are going to get paid two thousand eight hundred and seventeen dollars more which is increasing your rate per mile from a dollar 92 all the way to 247 but even better what it tells you is that it gives you different variations of stopovers so you can also do one in Denver Colorado and if you did one in Denver Colorado so if you take a load going from Los Angeles California to Denver and then from Denver you take one all the way to Atlanta Georgia you'll make a thousand dollars more and the same thing here with Austin Texas you'll get six hundred and fifty eighteen dollars more and the same thing over here if you do a stopover in Omaha Nebraska a thousand three hundred and sixty three dollars more so this is an unbelievable feature that I never knew existed so we're gonna try one more variation okay so let's say you have a truck in Chicago Illinois you want to go to Los Angeles California the load is paying 35 32 32 okay so the lane rate is about two thousand six hundred and ninety three dollars approximately on average is a dollar thirty three per mile but if you click this green button over here the tri haul it'll give you options that you'll go from Chicago going to North Dakota and then from North Dakota go to Los Angeles and you'll make twenty eight hundred dollars more if you stop over in Billings Montana you'll make twenty five hundred dollars more if you'll stop over in Fargo, North Dakota, you can make $2,600 more. And it'll show you the rate per mile. Instead of running at $1.33, you're going to run at $2.15. So this is a cool feature that I never knew existed. And I think that every single one of you out there, the people that I talked to also didn't know this feature existed. I also went to all of my dispatchers. I stopped everybody and I did a formal presentation to them because I never knew this feature existed. And this is a really cool feature. The next two features we're going to 
talk about that I learned just recently is market conditions and lane maker. Let's talk a little bit about lane makers. Okay, so you can actually do a search. All right. So let's say you are located in Illinois. Let's say I'm myself. We're located in Georgia, right? What I can do is I can do a quick search to see who, which brokers posted the most amount of freight from Georgia going into Wisconsin. So broker activity, full loads, trucks. I'm going to put here from Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia going into let's do Appleton, Wisconsin. All right. So here it gives me the stats. OK, so the RXO capacity posted 129 loads in the last 30 days. OK, so this is information on the last 30 days. We see that Axel Logistics posted 69 loads in this vicinity. We see here that Wayfinder Logistics posted 61 loads so if i'm trying to establish a relationship with brokers that have freight on a consistent basis i'm going to reach out to these four or five people and i'm going to say hey guys i have assets in atlanta all the time please use my service so this is a great feature okay that i never knew existed all right and the last thing we're going to talk about the last feature is market conditions okay market conditions if you click market conditions you'll you, you'll get to a map okay inbound outbound got it so on the left hand side, I believe we have our outbound on the in, on the right hand side, we have inbound. So what do we know? So the anything in red is considered a high volume location, OK, with tight capacity. All right. So you can see here that going to Oregon, there's tight capacity, Los Angeles, tight capacity, Dallas area, tight capacity. What does the information tell you? The information tells you the number of loads that are out there is one thousand one hundred fifty eight loads. The number of trucks is 415 loads. So your ratio is 2.8 loads for every truck. So this is really good information because if you're searching on where should I send my trucks in order to get a really good backhaul. OK, so this is great information that you can assess or you can determine, you know, should I be sending my truck? What I do know is, for example, sending your truck to Virginia might not be such a great idea because there are 2.1 loads for every truck, which is still good. Now, the lighter the color, the worse it is out there. OK, so here, for example, let's say we chose the Kentucky market. Kentucky currently has one point two loads for every truck, which is not good. OK, so people are fighting over the same work. All right. So you really want to go into the red zones because those red zones are going to pay you a lot of money to come back home. Same thing with the outbound. If you're looking at where to send trucks, you know, you could do the current day, your outbound. It'll tell you how many outbound loads and the ratio between loads to trucks. So this is really, really good data, you know, that you should be looking into before the start of your day. So, you know, if you're dispatching drivers or if you're finding loads for drivers, this is great information on where to send the drivers, because if it's a red state, the, the ratio ratios between loads to trucks are a lot better for you as a carrier and you can demand a lot more money. OK, so these are the hidden secrets of DAT. I am sure a lot of you probably have a lot of follow up questions. So please leave the comments down below and I would be more than happy to respond to your comments. Hopefully you learned something from this video. I'm Ronan R-O-N-E-N and I'll catch you in my next video.